some updates in the Nirav Modi case now. The Directorate, uh, Enforcement Directorate, the ED, has in fact uh, attached some of the assets there of uh, Nirav Modi. These are assets worth over 250 crore rupees that the Enforcement Directorate has attached. This is as far as uh, uh, the case against Nirav Modi is concerned. Let me go across to Arvind for more details on this. Arvind, uh, what does this essentially mean? Uh, are these proceeds of a crime as we could uh, perhaps call them? Yeah, uh, Maha, the Enforcement Directorate after registering cases against Nirav Modi is now trying to locate all the funds where all Nirav Modi and his associates have accumulated or have sheltered or kept it. With. So, I, in, in, during the course of the investigation, when they wrote it to several uh, countries, countries based on the investigation, they now got to know that there is a bank account in the Hong Kong wherein Nirav Modi had kept uh, somewhere close to uh, 5.7 million Hong Kong dollars. Apart from that, there is also almost 31 uh, million USD dollars also that That's how the Enforcement Directorate has got to know along with some uh, movable properties like James, uh, James and the other jewellery. So, uh, in a total Indian worth, it, it comes somewhere around 275 odd crore. So, during the course of the investigation, the agency has found uh, all this, uh, the, the bank balances and also all these movable uh, properties, uh, according to the investigation, all these are linked uh, directly with uh, Nirav Modi. And the agency uh, feels, as per the investigation, that the, all the uh, bank loans that Nirav Modi and his associates got, uh, they transferred all those money uh, to several companies and then they sheltered it, they kept it in all these countries and that's why the agency has today decided to provisionally attach all these properties and that comes to somewhere mm. around 275 crore. So Arvind, can we say that uh, by attaching these properties, some amount of the losses uh, uh, that the duped bank suffered could be made up? Is that how you we understand this? Uh, Maha, this is the first step in the process of recovering all those uh, debt. So first you have to attach the property and then once the attachment is finalized, then you take the steps for recovering those properties. So now the agency has identified that particular uh, money. So almost that comes to somewhere around 275 crore. Now that has been identified. In order to ensure that that's not transacted or that's not diluted or used by Nira Modi, so the agency has taken the first step to attach it. So that means now Nira Modi and his associates cannot use that money or cannot divert that money or cannot transact that money. So right. they have attached it. So next step will be to recover that particular money and then uh, use it to uh, like pay the debt that hmm. Nira Modi owes to Indian Bank. All right. Arvind Mayi, thanks for explaining that.